Welcome back everyone, Final Game of the Year with Combat Roster as we explore further the duck world. Time to do a little bit of climbing with our new found ability. Oh yes, Goofy gave us the red plunger somehow, which allows us to scale walls. Now we can go do real parkour. Yeah. You know, you know what you were saying before about Goofy being in the parkour? Considering he had these, this makes a lot more sense now. Yeah, well, now that it's, it, he's missing his plunger, he, he'll probably have to go get a more expensive plunger that does extra suckage. Well, I'm, I'm sure he can find a way to do that. I don't even remember what his job is. He tends to change all the time. Yeah. He's a drifter. So, you've also noticed we got these weird megaphones that love to blare sound so loudly they hurt us. That's annoying. Well, that's because you're standing right next to them. Well, I'm just a duck, okay? I'm not exactly great with sound and technology. <laughs> Wait, you're a duck? Holy crap! I don't know if I can do this anymore. <laughs> uh, yes, I am Admiral Duck. I serve under Captain Duck. Thank you. Oh my. Shout out to Captain Duck for something. Okay. So, yeah, um, you also notice from that Pete guy, we got popcorn. Popcorn is actually a weapon in this game, which I will be demonstrating later on. But we get a whole gamut of ammo in this video, and I'll be showing them all of their abilities. Alright. But firstly, high wire action! Okay, now here's the real parkour, everyone. Yeah, I mean, who put this there? Oh, wait, Goofy. Yeah, he just he just he just does this and he leaves him there. He doesn't really pick up after himself. Well, if anyone else wants to parkour, it's fine by me. Yeah, if anyone else wants an adrenaline rush, go for it. With no sense of survival instinct, so you actually do have to switch from uh, line to line because of the electricity. And Gyro's here with his little um, robot thing. I forget the name of. I don't remember it either. So he gives us bubble gum ammo. Our third ammunition. <laughs> I call it Bazooka Joe. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so we'll find out what that does later on. Wow, that mood has a face! He's really rolling his eyes. I don't know what his problem is, but I don't want his sass. <laughs> it's just like, oh, that Donald can't even fucking swim, even though he's in the Navy. <laughs> So why was Gyro there? Why did he decide to pick that spot of all places to dis decide to meet us? Couldn't we just meet him at his laboratory or whatever? No, it's probably because he does parkour too. Like, he's at a club with Goofy. The G Club, they call themselves. <laughs> I'm, start I'm starting to think by the end of this Let's Play, everyone is in a part of the uh, parkour club except Donald. <laughs> yes, because he has flat feet. You can't go in there with flat feet. Yeah, uh, I guess so. He actually does have flat feet. I've actually checked. He has flat feet, and he can't tell green from blue, according to one cartoon where he would try to sign up in the army. Oh. Oh yeah, I've seen that one. So now I'm gonna show up popcorn, because fuck these turtles. See? There we go! Yeah. So, shooting out popcorn at the speed of a bullet, you use five shots per... Uh, round, even though you only get three C, and it basically wrecks enemies and has a great spread on it. It's the spread gun, basically. And I decided, no, fuck you. You don't deserve to live. <laughs> Feast your eyes on my snack food glory. <laughs> I told you, you, you popcorn would kill you one day. Would you want it salt or butter? Just kidding. It's all death. Assault in buttery. Oh no! <laughs> Damn it. Okay, so bubblegum ammo doesn't seem obvious of what we might be able to do with this, but if we have that to Transylvania, fuck you, bat. We will be able to explore Dracula's castle with our brand new weapon. Don't worry, I got this, bro. Just in case you didn't know. Oh yeah, 
yeah, the treasure. So apparently we only had part of the treasure map. Dracula, however, has the real treasure map because Dracula does that. <laughs> yeah, he, he goes treasure hunting sometimes. Why not? You're bored. You, you've lived for a thousand years. Why wouldn't you? Yeah, you gotta have I a hobby. I kind of fuck up here because I'm meant to actually use those to get up. So. Whoops. No worries. Not that it's quite a good jump so I can do this. Ah. A lot of people can look at this game and uh, recognize very Castle of Illusion style gameplay, at least in style. Yeah, it does seem like that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there was one level in in the Castle of Illusion that was a castle-like thing that was just like this. Mm. I think it was really late in the game. Yeah, it's not a very spooky internet game. The home plate slide works very well here, getting under ghosts. And just like everything else, skeletons are afraid of plungers. I'm uh, not so much scared, rather it just it rustles the jimmies a little too often. They're like, ah! <laughs> I know where that goes, and I don't like it! <laughs> no, not my coccyx! Hey, you could even use bubblegum on them, it works. Oh. Hey, so bubblegum ammo is very short range, but it does it does hurt enemies. I guess I just go down here because I have nowhere else to go. Oh wait, I can see again I can't swim, but I can definitely walk underwater. <laughs> Negative buoyancy. This is why Donald can't swim. He just, he has negative buoyancy and just immediately drowns in water, or falls in. Yeah. Some people have that, I don't know. Mm hmm I do. I guess. I don't know how to swim, so I can't say much. Oh wow, I'm, I'm a total pro, pro swimmer. I wouldn't say pro, I, I'm just, I did a lot of swimming as a kid, so. So while we're going through this quite slow section, I'm going to share a little story about this game. Right. Um, when I was a kid, about 8 or 9, it was around my birthday, and I was heading up to the big city with my mom to get Mario's time machine, because I got Mario's missing, and people will know my love of that game as a guilty pleasure, and I really wanted Mario's time machine. Unfortunately, we didn't get to the store in time, and it closed, so instead, my mom got me Quackshot. And I think we made the right choice. <laughs> yeah. Because, ironically, not being in time to get Mario's time machine made my life better. <laughs> well, now you know you have to go back in time and correct that mistake. No, this isn't Shadow of Destiny. Oh, come on, you know you wanted to. Go way no. back in time and then change your ancestor's future. <laughs> Just go back in time, stop a tree being planted, die. <laughs> so, okay, this guy is a dick. He is a Speaking total of going dick back in time. If you look at him or move, he just does this, and the ghosts are really annoying and go all over the place. It's kind of weird to tell what exactly caused him to go. I think you just have to... I think it's looking away at first, but no, it is actually moving. Even if you're behind cover, he's just like, fuck that. It's really tough to dodge him, too. I don't think I've ever made it past this section without getting hit. I don't think I have either. Oh, and there you go. It's just standing still. That's literally it. Then I see there's a ledge up there, and I'm like, huh. I remember this. Yeah. Uh -huh. oh, yeah, Don was winking at me, going, yeah, you know it. You know what it. And if you get too close to him, he does it as well. So fuck you. I realize this is the end of the level, and I'm like, oh. I have to go up now. This is like a mandatory secret. So I think maybe I should? No. Yeah, good. No. And the ghost is back again. Fuck you. Let's wait until he's done his turn. <laughs> he, he looks like that he looks like that giant from the Mickey's Ultimate Challenge, the one I can never remember what he looks like now. This is gonna piss me off. <laughs> I just, oh, I just like his- oh, oh my god! Secret platform! And yeah, moving does activate the ghost down below, but no one cares. Yeah, we're- I don't think they, they can move up here. Nah, 
don't know. The, the ghosts don't have a depth perception of height. <laughs> Despite being able to float. Yeah, that's kind of what messes them up. They're just going up and down constantly, like, oh no! It's like being on a roller coaster. What? You can ride. hang from uh, when you oh, shoot up? Yeah. Holy shit. Oh yeah. I've been learning so much stuff. Yes, I can. I actually incidentally showed this up. You do this later, but you actually can hang from the punches on the ceiling. Which will prove very useful later on. And just getting some ammo in. And, oh, I, I know what's coming up here. First, you gotta get your plunger out. And jump as hard as you can because you're gonna get crushed! Oh yeah, that classic castle puzzle. Yeah, Dracula and his castle crushing abilities. That prankster. Every castle has to come equipped with a, with a, what you call it, an enclosing wall. Yep. Also, you can only carry 50 bubblegum ammo. I'm not sure why, but it's there. More turkey. And this fucker's back again. I don't know who he is. He lives in a castle full of ducks, but he's a human ghost? What's up with that? Maybe he, maybe he's the fat guy that ate a lot of ducks. Oh, I see. So this part is dickish because you got slopes here, and you stand still on the slope, you will slide down automatically, meaning he will still go after you, so you have to time it. I see you. Now this part, you do a little more tricky. You jump up instead, and this is, I believe, where we enter the end part. And here's the boss fight! It's Dracula! Oh man, this is... <laughs> We're gonna beat Quackshot and Castlevania. Hell yeah! This is gonna be great. This is revenge for Castlevania 64. So, uh, Dracula is a pretty fun and easy boss. He just floats back and forth. He uses his bats to stop your shots, but Popcorn fucks him up right bad. Because I've layered them with garlic. Uh, no. No, it's just that he has high cholesterol, and yeah, he doesn't like the fact that you're shooting more stuff that's gonna oh. clog up his arteries. No, my arteries! After 500 years, I tried to take care of myself! <laughs> I lose my life bigger! So, yeah, actually, any weapon works on him. The plunger does pretty well. But, um, the uh, plunger will get blocked by the bats, so I'm gonna make this a little more epic by using it. Honestly, just stand underneath him when he's like this. It's alright. Final shot! Oh yeah! Now we have the real treasure map, and we can head on further to our adventures. And with that, we get to leave the castle. We just killed Dracula, I, I guess. Never mind that. Yeah, we'll let the Ghostbusters take care of the rest. Yeah. Oh look! We have more places to explore! Oh my god. Yeah. Egypt, India, the South Pole, and a Viking ship. Oh. So, tune in next time when we'll see what other wonderful places we'll see, and how, more, how much more we can fuck up people's problems. Let's just ruin every country while we're at it. That's that's what Donald does best.